everyone. This is the Dr. G. V. R. Shashir Rao, Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. So in previous sessions, we have discussed about the uh, concept of uh, stresses and strains and the various uh, uh, problems involved in these uh, stresses and strains. And what is the relationship between these uh, stress and strain and the different elastic constants we have discussed. But in this session, so I want to discuss about the concept of uh, end supports. So we have seen, we have discussed in uh, shear force and bending moment topic, the types of loads and uh, uh, the types of uh, uh, the definition of shear force and uh, the bending moment and types of various beams we have discussed. But in this session, so I want to explain about uh, the hand supports. So, how many types of uh, hand supports are there and then what is the importance of uh, supports while calculating the shear force and bending moment problems. We will see in this uh, session. So, the course outcome is illustrate the shear force and bending moment uh, distribution in beams for analyzing the structural behavior under various loads. So, at the end of the course, the student should be able to explain the illustrate about uh, the shear force and bending moments and analyzing the structural behavior. So, this is the course outcome of this uh, topic. The concept of end supports, the supports are the different types, one is roller, hinged and fixed. So, first of all, so what is this uh, beam? What do you mean by beam? As per definition, the beam is a structural member used for uh, bearing loads, it is uh, typically used for resisting vertical loads, shear forces and bending moments. So, it, it should carry different types of loads, maybe vertical, maybe shear force and bending moments and different types of beams also we have discussed in uh, earlier uh, sessions. The types of end supports are roller support and then pinned support and uh, fixed support. The roller supports and then uh, pinned support or fixed supports. So, another name is a hinged, hinged supports. Hinged supports. So, here you see the types of uh, end supports are first we will see the roller support. So, the roller support allows thermal expansion and the contraction of the span and it prevents damage on other structural members such as a pinned support. Thermal expansion and contraction of the span prevents damage on other structural members such as a pinned support. So, the typical application of roller supports is, is in large bridges in civil engineering. Roller supports can be seen at one end of a bridge. You can see at uh, the one end of a bridge, you can see this type of uh, supports. Suppose in uh, beams, already we have seen in uh, cantilever beam, one end is fixed, other end is free. This is free end, there is no support. When you simply supported beam, both ends are uh, supported. So, these supports, the type of supports uh, depends upon the uh, application, the type of uh, load. So, here roller support cannot prevent translational movements in horizontal or lateral directions and any rotational movement but prevents vertical translation. Suppose a roller support, 
take this type of support. So, in this, what will happen? You cannot prevent the translational movements uh, in horizontal direction like this. But, but prevents vertical translation. There is no vertical movement. So, both, the, both ends are roller. Its reaction force is a single linear force perpendicular to and away from the source, the upward or downward. The support type is assumed to be capable of resisting normal displacement. Its reaction force is a single linear force perpendicular to and away from the surface, the upward and downward, the force and the downward. So, this support type is assumed to be capable of uh, resisting normal displacement. So, example here, figure shown there are roller supports. The one end is uh, supported with rollers. In this, you can, uh, it, 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 this type of uh, supports prevents uh, vertical uh, translation and also rotational, not possible only the horizontal translation is possible. So, the next one is pinned support. The pinned support attaches the only web of beam to grider called a shear connection. The support can exert a force on a member acting in any direction and prevent translational movements or relative displacement of the member ends in all directions but cannot prevent any rotational movement. But it cannot prevent the rotational, rotational movement is possible. I will show you the diagram injury or pinned. So, in this, it can support exert a force on a member acting in any direction and prevent translational movements. Relative displacement of the member ends in all direction. Rotational uh, is uh, allowable. There is no horizontal or vertical forces which are components of a single force of unknown direction. It is reaction forces are single linear forces of unknown direction. The pinned support is just like a human elbow. It can be extended and flexible, but you cannot move your forearm left to right. One benefit of uh, pinned supports is not having internal movement forces and only their axial force playing a big role in designing them. So, you, the pinned uh, support is uh, just like our human elbow. It cannot move your uh, forearm left to right. So, that means uh, translation, the to and fro motion. The only benefit of pinion support is not having internal movement forces and it can, uh, rotation is possible. Fixed support, another type of uh, support is fixed support. These are fixed supports maintain the angular relationship between the joint elements 
and provide both force and movement resistance. It exerts forces acting in any direction and prevents all translational movements, horizontal and vertical, as well as all rotational uh, movement of a member. So, rigid or fixed supports maintain the angular relationship. What is that uh, relationship? Joined elements are to provide them the force and movement resistance. The fixed means uh, prevents all translational movements, horizontal and vertical. So, suppose like this. The beam is the fixed both sides. So these supports reaction forces are horizontal and the vertical components have a linear resultant a movement. So, the vertical components of a linear resultant is uh, nothing but a movement. It is a rigid type of support or connection. They fix it. There is no uh, translation and rotation. So, the application of the fixed support is uh, beneficial when we uh, can only use single support. And people most widely used this type of uh, type uh, supports as the only support for cantilever. There are common in the beam to column connections of a moment resisting steel frames. So they like this. So already I told you the cantilever beam. One end is fixed and other end is free. So, the moment resisting steel frames and the beam, the column and the slab connections in a concrete frames. So, this, this type of beam is a cantilever beam. So, the application of fixed supports used in cantilever beams. See the support uh, shown in this uh, figure. So, and is fixed. There is no translation to and fro, there is no rotational, there is, there is no up and down. The next uh, <coughs> topic is concept of shear force and bending movement. So, what is this uh, shear force and what is the bending moment? So, up to now, we have discussed about uh, uh, the uh, types of uh, end supports. Now, we will see in this how what are the forces, loads acting on these uh, supports. The beams also we have seen and supports. Now, I want to discuss. Uh, about this air force and bending moment and then uh, we will see various uh, problems. The shear force may be defined as the algebraic sum of all vertical forces. So, what are the forces acting on the beam? The all for vertical forces either to left or the right hand side of the section. Suppose uh, the cantilever beam, take example, the vertical forces are acting. The algebraic sum of uh, these forces, this is suppose uh, 10 kilo newton, 5 kilo newton. So, what is the algebraic sum of these uh, all forces? Either you take the left, left or uh, right hand side of the section. So, take a uh, section and then calculate shear force. We are having an upward direction to the right hand side of the section or uh, downwards to left of the section will be taken positive. The sign convention is uh, very, very important. 
So the downwards to the left of the section will be taken as positive. Suppose our uh, cross section is like this beam. So left side, left side and uh, right side. Right side forces are downward forces uh, will be taken as positive and upward is uh, negative. Right hand side of the right hand side of the section, the upward force is upward force is here. Upward direction is negative. Yes, is here force having an upward direction to the right hand side of a section or downward left side of the section or downward or upward. Sorry, it will be taken as positive. Similarly, a negative shear force will be one that has a downward direction to the right side of the section or upward, up direction, uh, upward direction of the to the left of the section. So, shear force diagram will tell you the variation of shear force along the length of the beam. Negative shear force, downward direction to the right side of the section. Upward is positive, downward is negative. So, right side section and left side section. Here, upward is negative, downward is positive. See, in this uh, figure, shown uh, clearly, the shear force will be positive. So, this is your section. So, right side and left side. So, left side positive, the down side downward, right side uh, side downward is positive. Similarly, the shear force will be negative downward and upward. Shear force at any section of a beam is uh, defined as the net vertical force or unbalanced vertical force on either side of the section is denoted with the shear force. So, shear force is nothing but is the net for vertical forces or unbalanced vertical force. Shear force at any section of a beam is defined as the net vertical force or unbalanced vertical force on either side of the section, it is denoted shear force. Bending moment, it may be defined as the algebraic sum of the moments of all vertical forces either to the left side or right side of the section. A bending moment causing concavity upwards will be taken as negative and called as sagging, sagging bending moment. Similarly, bending moment causing convexity upwards will be taken as positive and uh, called as it is said to be hogging. So, bending moment causing concavity upwards will be taken as negative that is uh, uh, sagging upward bending, bending moment and the downward bending moment is convexity taken as positive that is uh, hogging one is uh, sagging and another one is uh, hogging. In the next slides uh, we will see very clearly. So, in this diagram shown the sagging and uh, hogging phenomena. So, bending moment diagram that is will tell you the variation of bending moment throughout the length of the beam. See here the bending moment uh, will be positive. So, in this case the sagging means the concavity upwards will be taken as negative 
the concavity upwards. The downward is hogging. The bending moment will be negative. Like this, the bending moment. Uh, diagram tell you the uh, the variation of bending moment throughout the length of the beam so the moment which tends to bend the beam in plane of load is known as bending moment so in other word the bending moment at any section of a beam any section of a beam net or unbalanced moment due to all forces on either side of the section it is the algebraic sum of moment due to all forces on either right or left side of the section so the effect of bending moment is to bend the element So the algebraic sum of moment, uh, whatever forces acting on the beam, either right side or left side of the section, the effect of bending moment is to bend the element. See in this uh, figure shown the sign conventions. shear force and bending moment for various loads the external load the shear force is upward and uh, downward force positive the bending moment concavity is uh, sagging here in this case the shear force is negative so the external load and couple reacting in uh, anti clockwise here clockwise and also the load acting upwards in load acting downwards. Here the bending moment hogging. One is here uh, sagging and hogging. See here. Uh, sign conventions of uh, shear force and bending moment uh, shown here clockwise uh, shear and anti clockwise shear the positive shear force one is left side of the section and uh, the section line is uh, this one and right side so right side downward force and acting uh, upward force, uh, positive shear force. Whereas in anti clockwise, this clockwise, this in this anti clockwise, downward force uh, acting negative here, uh, right side of the section is negative. Down, downward force so left side of the section is negative in right side upward force is negative so the sign conventions of uh, bending moment in previous year shown uh, the positive shear force and the negative shear force One is a clockwise, another one is anti clockwise here. So, here 
shown in this the positive bending negative bending moment for a rocking uh, bending moment are positive bending moment or sagging positive or sagging here clockwise moment clockwise moment so left side and right side so compression the top layer subjected to compression and the bottom layer is tension so this side anti clockwise and clockwise then sagging happened but in this the negative bending moment anti clockwise and clockwise moment what will happen here the lower uh, one bottom portion undergone compression and top portion is tension so negative bending moment or uh, hogging bending moment these two uh, phenomenon are very important in a bending moment so due to the positive bending moment the sagging will be happen and uh, due to the negative bending moment hogging uh, will be happen so what is this uh, sagging and uh, hogging so we have seen in this uh, definition the causing concavity upwards will be taken as negative like this and downwards another one hogging the con convexity upwards will be taken as positive and called hogging shown in this uh, diagram see it also shown the bending moment and here in this uh, diagram sign conventions uh, shown clockwise shear and anti clockwise shear and similarly positive and uh, negative bending moment six c so now in this uh, session we have discussed about the concept of uh, shear force and bending moment and then supports various uh, supports have discussed the types of uh, and supports the uh, supports are fixed support a roller support and then pinion support pinion support clear yeah. so next one is how discussed about uh, shear force and uh, the sign convention of shear force and then uh, the sign convention of uh, bending moment the shear force uh, how to calculate shear force either left side of the section or uh, right side of the section and similarly I have seen the uh, bending moment so the bending moment uh, subjected to the negative bend clockwise moment or uh, anti clockwise moment so in this case uh, the sagging when it is said to be sagging whenever the bending moment will be positive the hugging whenever the bending moment will be negative the bending moment bending moment is positive in the case of sagging and the bending moment is negative in the case of hugging similarly i have seen the shear force and bending moment sign conventions
So sign conventions uh, during positive shear force and negative shear force and uh, similarly in the case of uh, positive bending moment in the clockwise direction and the anti-clockwise moment. So these are the references have taken uh, for this PPT, Ramamurtham, the strength of materials title, publishers of Dhanpati Rai, similarly RK Rajput, strength of materials uh, title, publishers are Rajan, RK Bansal, the title of the book is test book of strength materials, strength of materials and RS Kurmi and Gupta, the title of the book is strength of materials. So this one also is done the, and the co-publishers. You can take uh, uh, latest version also. To, out of these references, uh, take uh, one, one or two test book for further more information. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.